now this is the next question on assignment now if you observe the question there are four persons and there are five jobs and then the data is given cost is given in rupees thousands and two conditions are given here that p1 cannot perform j3 and p3 cannot perform j4 obtain optimal assignment and optimal cost so this is a special type of assignment problem first thing it is unbalanced there are four persons and there are five jobs so first is problem is unbalanced it is an unbalanced problem so we need to take a dummy for balancing the problem so one person is short so we will take p5 as dummy so we will say p5 is dummy and for p5 all values will be zero this is point number 1 second cost is given so it is a minimization problem and third these are the two conditions that these particular assignments are not possible p1 j3 not possible and p3 j4 not possible so that is called a prohibited assignment problem prohibited assignments and wherever the assignments are prohibited we assign a sign of m which is infinity so for these two assignments for p1 j3 and p3 j4 we will assign infinity infinity means there is no calculation in that particular cell okay so now we will write our first table Now we are taking P5 as dummy. And all values of P5 will be zero. Then second thing P1 J3, we are converting in infinity, that is M, and same way P3 J4. This P3 J4 that also we are treating as infinity, that is M. And other values we will write same. done here is first thing we have taken since it was an unbalanced problem we have taken p5 as dummy for balancing the problem now we have five persons and five jobs second thing we have done we have assigned prohibited assignments we have assigned infinity so p1 j3 has become m and p3 j4 has also become m m stands for infinity and now we can solve this as a normal problem so the second table table 2 that will be row minimization Now we find the minimum value in each row and we will subtract it. So the first row P1 minimum value is 18. Now M is to be ignored, there will be no calculation in M. So you subtract 18 from all values. So 27 minus 18 is 9, 18 minus 18 is 0. M will remain same. 20 minus 18 is 2 and this will become 3. Second row minimum value is 12. So 31 minus 12, 19, 24 minus 12 is 12. This will be 9, 0, 5. Third row minimum value is 16. So this will become 4, 1, 4, M, 0. P4 minimum value is also 16. So this will become 6, 12, 4, 0 and 11 and p5 minimum value is 0 so 0 minus 0 it will remain as 0 so now row minimization is done now if you observe 
the normally after row minimization the next step is column minimization but if you observe here in every column there is a zero so minimum value of every column is zero so it means even if you do column minimization the table will remain same so you can say that in this table column minimization is not required because everywhere there is a zero so you can say that column minimization is not required because everywhere there is a zero so now we can directly test for optimality and how do we test for optimality we cover all the zeros with minimum lines starting from the highest zeros now if you observe the matrix the highest number of zero is in p5 so this will be line number 1 so our p5 is line 1 then next single zero here single zero here single zero here and here zero here so the highest number of zeros was in p5 five zeros so we have drawn line number 1 here next if you observe the table in j4 there are two zeros so we will cover these two zeros with one line this will be line number 2 now one zero here and one zero here so we need one line for this zero so we can draw either a vertical line or horizontal line anyways you can draw so suppose if you draw horizontal line so this is line number 3 and then for this zero one more line will come this is line number 4 but our size of matrix was 5 because there are 5 rows and 5 columns and we have only 4 lines so we will say minimum number of lines is 4 therefore not optimal so now we have to identify our change and as you know the change is the minimum of open values so 19, 12, 9, 5, 6, 12, 4, 11 so minimum value is 4 so it means our change value is 4 so now we have to write third table and we have to change the values accordingly values we should subtract so for p2 1 2 3 4 4 open values from here we will subtract 4 so this will become 15 8 5 and lastly 5 minus 1 5, 5 minus 4 will be 1 the same way for p4 1 2 3 and 4 we will subtract so this will become 2 8 0 and 11 minus 4 will become 7 where there is intersection we will add so 2, 2 plus 4 this will become 6 and here also intersection is 0 so 0 plus 4 will become 4 and all other values should remain same so 9, 0 m will remain same no change in m and last is 3 then here this 0 will remain same then p3 4, 1, 4 will remain same m remains same, no change in m, it is infinity and this 0 will remain same and last line 0, 0, 0 and here also 0 and this 0 will remain same in m there was an intersection but there is no addition or subtraction in m because m is infinity that is why m will remain, once you take m it will continue throughout the solution now we have the table, now again we will check how many lines we are getting starting with the highest line zeros 1 2 3 4 4 zeros so you draw one line here line number 1 then we have two zeros here and two zeros here either you draw this line or you draw this line any one you can draw so if you take this line this will become line number 2 then 1 2 and 3 three zeros are there so we need 1 2 and 3 three more lines so 3 4 5 now we get five lines so now our solution is so we can say minimum number of lines is 5 and matrix size is also 5 so therefore optimal solution and 
now we can find our assignment in table 4 ok so now we know that the solution is optimal because minimum number of lines are 5 and matrix size is 5 by 5 now we will do the assignment in the next table we will transfer all the zeros of this table in the assignment table because this is now the optimal table so in P1 there is one zero in P2 also there is one zero in J4 in P3 there is one zero in J5 in P4 there are two zeros in J3, J4 and in P5 there are four zeros so now we will start the assignment we should start from wherever there is a single zero Okay, so in P1, K2 only one, P2, J4 there is only one, P3, J5 there is only one, P4 there are two zeros, J3 and J4 and P5 there are four zeros. So we can start from P1 because there is a single zero. So we give this P1, J2. Now P1, J2, J2 is over so this zero will cancel. Then next we can give P2, J4 single zero. So we give P2, J4. Now J4 is over, this zero will cancel. Next we can give P3, J5, so P3, J5 we will give, so J5 is over, so this 0 will cancel, then next now in P4 only 1 0 remains, so we give P4, J3, so J3 is over, this 0 will cancel and last only 1 0 remains, that is P5, J5. So if you observe the pattern of assignment, there is no duplication, in every row and every column there is only a single assignment. So now when we write the, we can write final schedule. P1 is assigned J2 and P1 J2 cost is 18. Okay, see P1 J2 cost is 18. Then next P2 J4, P2 J4 cost is 12. Okay, P2 J4 is 12. Then P3 J5, P3 J5, P3 J5 cost is 16. Then P4 J3 and P4 J3 cost is 20 P5 is dummy and it is assigned J1 so dummy cost obviously is 0 now when we add this 18 plus 12 30 30 plus 20 50 and 66 so optimal cost is 66 into 1000 that is rupees 66000 this is our final answer and P5 dummy is assigned job J1 it means job J1 will cannot be assigned to any worker it will remain idle okay because we are short by one person so we can assign only four jobs so these four jobs up to here have been assigned to four people four persons and job J1 cannot be assigned to anyone it is assigned to a dummy which does which is imaginary okay so this is how we solve a problem which is prohibited and unbalanced what we have done is since it was unbalanced, we took a dummy as P5. A dummy is an imaginary, you can say value. Okay, imaginary person we have taken for balancing the problem. Second thing, what we have done, we had taken M. M means infinity. For this P1, J3, we have taken M. And for P3, J4 also, we had taken M for a prohibited assignment. So this is how we solve unbalanced or prohibited problem.